Good evening. It is Thursday, January 25th. Um, welcome to the O.L. Peacock Senior Park Land Water Conservation Fund Grant Program um, presentation. A few housekeeping items just before we get started is um, microphones will be muted. Um, you can utilize the Q&A feature um, throughout the presentation to ask any questions you may have, and at the end we will answer your questions. And then a copy of this presentation will be posted to the park's webpage after, um, after tonight's meeting. It may take a day or two, probably the beginning of next week, um, but this will be posted to the, to the website. I am Kelly Boatwright. I am the Parks Administrator for Projects for the City of Port St. Lucie. And with me tonight, I have Paul Grives. Um, he is our Project Coordinator for um, the Parks Projects as well. And we'll go ahead and, and roll right into our presentation if we can get that up. Perfect. All right, thank you. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about the Land Water Conservation Fund Grant Program. Um, this grant provides assist, um, financial assistance for the development of public outdoor recreation amenities for use of, and benefit of the general public. Um, this is administered by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Um, our application um, is going to be for the O.L. Peacock Senior Park Phase Two development, and it, we will be requesting a million dollars. Um, in order to do that, we will um, match that with city funding of a million dollars as well. So for that phase two development, um, if awarded, we will have $2 million to um, construct restrooms, um, a partial hiking trail and boardwalk connection to the future Peacock Trail, uh, a large pavilion, bike racks, fencing, and a kayak launch. So um, the Peacock, the OL Peacock Senior Park location is just to the east of 95 um, and of Southern Grove in the Tradition area, and just south of Dreyfus Boulevard. It is about 100 acres um, with a 75-acre lake, a, a, approximately a 75-acre lake um, incorporated into the site. Um, if you were able to join us back in September of 2021, we did begin our community workshops and our um, de uh, conceptual development uh, for this park site. Um, we did community engagement in the form of several workshops. We did an online survey that was posted for probably, um, I'm going to say, a month or so. Um, we spoke with city council. Our um, high-performance public spaces team um, reviewed um, the preliminary concepts. Um, and then in June of 2022, our concept and phasing recommendations were approved by city council. So we um, immediately went into looking to um, develop the construction documents for phase one of the park project. We had um, planned funding in for um, the phase one development. And that actually includes, let me go into a few things here, um, things like upland trails, um, uh, on-site parking, uh, small pavilions, and um, playgrounds and things of that nature, but we'll get into that a little bit um, more later. Um, with that, we were actually, because we had funding already programmed into our capital improvement plan for phase one of the project, we were able to apply for what they call a FERDAP grant um, last year for the amount of $200,000 to assist in the, um, the construction of those phase one amenities. And we're, we were awarded that grant um, in Actually, we were given notification of award in July of 2023, and then we sent our um, agreement back for final execution just this past December 2023. So now we're looking to um, go into the application process for phase two. But before we do that, I just want to review a little bit of how we got to this point. Um, beyond that, um, with our surveys, um, we did do the surveys back in September, so we were able to um, get a better understanding of what residents would like to see for this park site. Um, and of those amenities that ranked highest um, in the activities and amenities that the, um, that the community asked for, we were able to conceptualize um, the site with, with some of those items. Um, so what you see here on this slide is the original concepts that were provided to City Council um, 
at, I think it was, hang on, it was back whenever they approved it, back in June of 2022, right? So these are the, um, these are those original concepts. We had a phase one, phase two, and phase three. We were able to program in some funding um, into our capital improvement plan for phases one and two, and we knew that phase three would be a little further out, but we would continue to seek um, other grant funding opportunities such as this one and the FERDAP grant in order to hopefully um, leverage the dollars that were, we were able to plan um, and maybe bring some of those amenities um, a little sooner to the site. So what you see here is the new phase one because whenever we went in and we applied for the Florida Recreation Development Assistant Program grant, um, we were able to pull in a few of the amenities that originally were planned for phase two. Um, and one of those was the, was the small playground that will now, is now in red there to the right of your screen. Um, and a few other items. So now uh, that we have the, um, the funding in place, and the FERDAP grant that will assist with that development, we will be moving forward um, with the construction of phase one. We do have um, a firm on co contract right now that is helping us with the construction documents so that we can move right into the construction of that phase. But tonight we're talking about um, the Land Water Conservation Fund grant for phase two. And the amenities that we um, hope to include with that um, would be the restroom, as I mentioned, the large pavilion, the bike rack, and the fencing. Um, total cost for those amenities would be um, right under $2 million, which is what we are looking to apply for for this particular grant. And then what we intend to do and we hope to do um, is continue to um, look at different funding um, applications that we may be able to go into and maybe even bring some of the phase three. I'll actually, I'm gonna go back to this slide because these amenities were initially phase three. If we are awarded the um, Land Water Conservation Fund grant, these are amenities that were not anticipated to be constructed for quite some time because no funding was in place but we hope to um, be awarded the grant so that we can actually bring that forward a little um, more quickly to our community. So with that, um, oh, wrong button. With that, we are looking to submit our application for the, for the grant. It is due next week, uh, January 31st. Um, our documentation is in place, with, and we will be including um, tonight's presentation as part of that documentation um, so that the granting authority um, knows that we have reached out to our community and we are, we are letting them know that we are um, seeking these grant funds. So with that, that really concludes the presentation for tonight. It was very short. We just wanted to um, reach out um, and give an overview of the project as a whole. Um, hopefully give some insight into some of the things that we're doing in order to um, bring these great amenities to our community and the things that our residents have asked for. Um, this is part of our 10-year master plan, um, this particular park and, and these improvements. So these have been a long desired, um, this has been a long desired development project for our city. Um, and so we hope to be able to bring as much of it to uh, fruition as possible in the very near future. So with that, um, I'll just look to Paul to see, I know he's kind of gauging our Q&A box to see if we have any questions. We got no open questions right now, Kelly. Okay. Um, um, but you know, if there are any questions afterwards, I believe your email's up there. Uh, anybody can email us and uh, with any questions or comments and we will uh, definitely get back to you. All right, well, we'll give it just a second, you know, um, and to, because I hate to close it out and there not being, you know, anything to to answer to. I mean, I hope I hope that did answer any questions there may be. And as Paul mentioned, if you have any questions, feel, feel, please feel free <laughs> to reach out to um, myself, um, kboatwright at cityofpsl.com, and I'll be happy to um, answer any questions you may have. All right. With that... 
I'm going to go ahead and close it out for tonight. I appreciate everyone's time um, on this Thursday evening, and uh, we hope to see you soon, maybe at a groundbreaking for O.L. Peacock Senior Park. Have a great night.